Hey friends, right at here, it is this November 25th, 2023. And we're gonna see about putting this coin door back together here. This is not a coin door. Uh, and get it looking pretty now that we've painted it all. Um, I also bought this little strip a while ago because the back box was missing it when I got it. This is for the door to fit in for back box or head or whatever you want to call it. So we're going to see if we can put all the head hardware in today also. So let me get all this stuff over on the workbench and we're going to scratch our heads and see if we can figure out how the hell this goes back together. So stick with me. Okay, people. Need to get me a new Chicago coin sticker, but we got a fresh lock. LEDs, obviously. I need to get some new ones of these things. They're both broken and disgusting. And this one was missing the quarter plate. So we'll, it's only a, there's two screws. That whole front comes off. So we'll fix that whenever we get parts in, I guess. But see the back looks pretty good. I put way too much oil on there trying to get the coin return to loosen up a little bit. It'll take it a bit, but it'll, the oil will work its way through there. You can wipe some off. But, I mean, it's it's not perfect, but it looks at the inside better than it did a giant rusty mess. So, all right. Got that done. Oh, my back is killing me. On to the back box here. I would have filmed all that, but it would have been like the blind leading the idiot. Uh, me being both blind and an idiot when it comes to this, but it's all good. We'll get it done. All right, so I did dry fit all this stuff before I painted, so it's hard to remember which screws go where, but I think those go there. Two of these go with those. These two washers go here. And then this stuff is for this. And these hold the, that thing in. So let me put all that together. And we'll see about the back door here. All right, see those screws. Right there, like that. So the back, this is obviously designed to keep the glass in. Which Bally has the same thing, but they don't have this little doink here that keeps it from coming all the way out. Probably could have installed that just a little bit farther forward, but it's all good. The latch. So now we're going to flip this over and give it the 50-50 chance that I actually left the door over there. So hopefully I did. If not, it's at the arcade. So but I'm pretty sure I left it here. So I'm going to flip this back over, bolt it at the base, and see about the door. All right. The door is, in fact, here. Rest easy. So, I'm gonna do what someone I saw on Pinside do, which is they shined up the coin door or the back door a bit. So, I'm gonna take just some sandpaper, go over it a little bit, see if it shines it up, just to get it looking a little better. Maybe get some of these rust spots off a little bit. See how it looks afterwards, but here's the before shot. Okay, like 30 minutes later, I actually went to 320 and went to town on this. <laughs> Wet sanding. Uh, I think it would need professional help to get all that off of there if I'm not being too facetious. Like a power sander, and if you did that, you'd probably wear all the galvanizing stuff off of it. So, we'll leave you to decide if it looks any better than it did 10 seconds ago. Okay, so I'm gonna install a fresh lock here. And then I'm gonna use this aluminum tube here, or 
C channel. To make a bottom for that door. Because it did not have one. So, measure that, find a hacksaw. Come back in a second. Okay, people. Little bitty screws so they didn't poke through the bottom, but it's on there. Pretty solid. All right, now for the test. Voila. Made in USA, baby. 1221.74. It's a 75 machine, so not bad. All right, well, I think we're going to pack it in because we've been out here for a while today. So now we're... Hell. Now we got to work on the in this bag right here. The head hardware, we had to transfer it from that light board, which was semi termite eaten, to this one, which we'll see how that goes. Picked that up at the Houston Arcade Expo, the Galaga Marquee. I need to spray it with like triple thick because it's kind of flaking a little bit. But I thought I'd like put a photo frame or use it as a frame or hang it on the wall or something. All right, well. We'll get to that next time, and then once we get that done, this play field here. I'm still looking. Um, I think it's it's Marco or Pinball Life. One of them has a plastic set for this, but it doesn't have the it doesn't have the drops. It doesn't have the spinners, and it doesn't have this plane right here. So. But I did get some helpful pin siders. Um, I believe I have this plastic. It's this one that's missing. Um, anyway, they gave me a used one that's actually they gave me a few just free of charge that have the same yellowing. So that'll be handy. I really appreciate that. I'll have to pay that forward at some point. This one's missing. I have that one too. Where are they? In here. So we gotta clean them up, put them back in there. And that's in a box or a little mailer over there somewhere in the pile of crap. Anywho, now we gotta figure out if this thing's gonna work. As rusty as it is, it's certainly moving pretty easy. Anyway. We'll get to that. We'll clear coat it. Got a dude that's gonna make me a stencil for this apron, which is somewhere in this mess. I forgot about the back. I might ask him to make me one for that too. Although it's in pretty good shape. We'll see if it cleans up. Problem is it's gonna be a different white than this one, which is the problem. So, I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna paint the, the rails the same color as the cabinet here. Paint that white, the same cabinet white. He's gonna send me a shooter rod decal, or not decal, I keep saying the stencils. So, it'll be fun. Oh, this cabinet hardware stuff is just tedious. Been working on it for like three days. But, I got it all ready, it just, I gotta put it back in the machine. It's at the arcade over there. Arcade at Lunchbox's office. So, got most of it packed into my car. Take over there, you know, the mech board, all the rails and everything. Uh, there's some stuff for the tilt board that's paint is still drying. I gotta go exchange one leg because I grabbed the wrong damn kind. Uh, but I got the three painted in the last video. There's some other parts right there that are drawing, so 
we're making it. I gotta order some LEDs. Just one thing after another. <laughs> but anyway, if you know anyone that's got those plastics, even if they're used in much better condition than this, I'd be appreciative because these ones are these ones are toast. I don't know, maybe they'll clean up, but I doubt it. All right, well, keep it real. Sure appreciate you watching, and we'll talk at you next time. Later.